What's going on guys, so always you here, welcome back to brand new videos. So today we have got the World Cup icon, Vieira card to review. A card that you cannot buy on the market. A card that you have to really, really grind for. And at the end of this video, I will be letting you guys know if I believe World Cup icon Vieira is worth 40 World Cup swap tokens. Now the card is looking amazing. He's a six foot four player with medium high work rates, right footed, three star skill moves with a three star weak foot. The card itself is a nice 90 overall with 84 pace, 84 dribbling, 78 shooting, 88 defending, 90 physicals and 81 passing. He can only play in one position if you want to get him on chemistry. Center mid. The center mid position is the only position he can play. Really disappointing, right? Like, why? Like, I don't understand why Vieira cannot be moved into a DM position as well. It makes really no sense to me, but it is what it is. The chem style that I've decided to go for is the shadow chem style. He looks unreal on the shadow chem style. I was very close, by the way, very close to going for the basic chem style because the basic chem style looks very nice on this card as well. You get that dribbling boost, you get that pace boost as well, and obviously the defending boost and physical boost as well. So yeah, I was very close to going for the basic, but I'm just going to go for the shadow chem style to give him as much pace as possible. The pace with the shadow is 94 acceleration and 91 sprint speed. For a player that is six foot four, that is unreal. The shooting stats, as you look all right, they don't look like anything amazing. They don't look like KDB's kind of long shots, but the shooting looks all right for a center mid. I'm definitely going to give it a few goes when it comes down to the outside foot and just see if it is going to fly in. He has not got any shooting traits, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. The passing stats look amazing. Uh, dribbling stats, the agility and balance don't look great, but everything else there, like the reactions, the ball control, the dribbling and the composure look top tier. I'm definitely interested to see how he's going to feel on the ball. Like, are you going to notice that 73 agility? Are you going to notice it? That is something I want to see because if you do notice it, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle when going for like some sharp turns. Uh, the defending stats look amazing. 99 interceptions. He's got 86 heading accuracy, 88 defensive awareness, 99 standing tackling and 99 slide tackling. Keep in mind, he is a six foot four player. The physicals as well look unreal. He has got 89 strength, 92 aggression, 93 stats and 80 jumping he has got the power header trait which is definitely nice to see as he is a six foot four player with 86 heading accuracy and 80 jumping now for the first time i am not doing a review on my account the first time in a very long time very very long time so yeah i'm on a viewer's account right now his team is actually kind of looking nice darwin nunez wants to watch you got one to watch richarlison you got our i think that's they say i'm not 100 you got kessie so yeah all around the team is looking very very good i'm gonna play Vieira in two positions the dm position and the center position so let's get into these games and let's see how good world cup icon Vieira is gonna be if I say any inside to Vieira, you know what, boys? Let's go for it. Go on. Yellow timed as well. And it goes in like that. Honestly, I had no hope. He's gone. That was a very fast rage quit. Uh, Yeah, I had no hope. As soon as I yellow timed it, I was like, nah, no shot. This goes in. And it dips over the keeper. No pass into Morientes there. He's going to pass it up. Oh, look how quick that transition was. And look at that tackle from Vieira. Let's go for a ball roll there. Not feeling too bad on the ball. Oh, one dribble it. Nah, I just couldn't get it under control. Last second, he didn't take that touch. Can I get that one, though? Yeah, we can get that one. I'm just saying Kessie on a run. Vieira, it needs to be a crazy pass. And look at that, boys. No way. It must have been slightly offside because I thought I timed that perfectly. But yeah, the pass was insane. Let's go for a driven there into Vieira's feet. Can't get it. Surely we get that one. Yeah, there you go. Him being six foot four and all. I'm expecting those 50-50s. To be won by him. Can I get it to him? Yes, I can. And I step over. And again. Go on, Vieira. Go on, Vieira. Imagine. Imagine we got past him as well. Honestly, he's not feeling too bad on the ball. He's actually feeling way better than what I expected. I thought we was going to notice a few, like, clunky turns. But he keeps the ball very close. He turns really well as well. And he turns fast. It's not like it's a slow turn. Let's go for a through ball there. He is in. We'll roll this. There you go. Go on, Richarlis. Nah, 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 nah. How? How has he missed that? It was a very good pass from Vieira as well. Across the ground, perfectly weighted. It's just, what is that for finish? Trying to get this into Vieira here. He has made movement going forward. Go on, Alwan. There you go. Pass it across into Vieira. No, that extra pass into Vieira would have, oh, would have eliminated the keeper and Vieira just would have had a wide open shot. Let's go for a quick back heel with Walker. Now we can go forward with Vieira. 
Let's keep it going here. All one dribble it. Look at the all one dribbling coming into play. Look at this. Roll again. Nah, I'm doing too much. I'm doing just a little bit too much. But yeah, you guys can see the dribbling is not bad. He's keeping the ball close to his feet. The R1 dribbling definitely feels nice with him as well. And that is a great win from Blanc. Nice turn there. Let's go for the switch. Nah, I should have done it up. I should not done that on I should have done it on the ground. I should have just done it over the player. Let's go ahead and press him. I think he's gonna go for a turn though. Yep, there you go. Vieira's transition speed. He can go left, he can go right. It does not matter which way you are gonna go. He is gonna be there. I'm going to go press him in to see how quick Vieira can get out. There you go. No, that is so unlucky. But look at him. Automatically going back into the play and actually tackling the player. Vieira get that ball. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he definitely full sent that one. He was not losing that at all, was he? He wanted that ball. He's looking for that pass down. Vieira, get that ball. Look at that challenge. He goes straight past someone. He's aggressive when going into the tackle as well. All that touch and that animation. Honestly, that animation this year is like, it's good, but it's bad. Because there's times that it works out really well. But then there's times like that, that it's just like, it's shocking. Looking for a pass in the middle here. Vieira, there you go. Well played. I won dribble. And let's go for the switch here. And this should, yeah, this should easily work. Keep it a bit more simple, just trying to use his strength there. Yeah, you can't, like, overdo it with him. He feels nice on the ball, but not as good as, like, obviously players like Neymar and Mbappe and stuff. You definitely do notice sometimes him feel a little bit slow to get around corners. And look at the strength. Go on. Oh, my. No. Why has that not gone in? Why? Ah, oh, Nakiba saves that one as well. What a shot. The strength, by the way, to put the player on the ground is outrageous. Let's go for a pass down the line there. Wow. Is he going to keep on? He is going to keep on. I tried to get that driven pass across. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure the keeper got a hand to that. No? What a pass from Vieira, though. Let's go ahead and push this in the middle. Vieira, press him. There you go. Aggressive. See if we can maybe get around a corner. Looking for a runner down the line. There you go. Darwin Nunes gave me that option. Really good uh, aggression from Vieira there. And I'm ball rolling it out. I really do want to try a score ahead of him. So let's go near post here. I think he's got Dybala near post. So surely, right? Surely Vieira ends up winning it over him. The cross just needs to be perfect. And let me see. Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah. This is very good. No way Dybala got a little flick to that. Darwin Nunes. How has he missed that? All right, we've got another corner on the other side. Let's do the exact same thing. See if we can get him onto it, man. Come on. The thing is, right, like he's tall, but he hasn't got amazing jumping. So he doesn't get high up there, but he's already up there pretty much, right? Him being six foot four. Uh, Vieira near post again. I'm going to like I'm going to go back stick. There you go. Now try to get in front of him. Oh, that's perfect, boys. It's perfect. No, Vieira. No, what? Oh. What was that? Press him here slightly. Don't want to like overcommit. We do end up getting a touch to it, but unfortunately we did not come out with a ball, but we do eventually give it into Vieira here. I sent Darwin Nunes on a run. Let me see if I can. Oh my. No. What was that pass? That's one of the best passes I have seen in Fever 23. 100% he's going to come back, right? It's Furlan Mendy. Get that ball for Yera with their help. I wasn't even controlling him. He's done that a few times where he's just helped me out, not even controlling him, and he just puts in a tackle. Let's see if we can score another long shot with him. Ah, oh, that was a good interception. What a reach, though, from Vieira. That's that six foot four reach coming into play, boys. We'll roll this. R1 triple. Nah, look at Theo. Theo putting in a very good tackle. But yeah, the reach from Vieira there is insane. The fact that he got that really did surprise me. I was like, yeah, that's going to get past him easily. Clearly, it didn't. Surely he goes for a cutback. No. Oh, he's just going to run. Okay, Vieira. Oh, I should have. Yeah, there you go. We eventually came out with it. I should have controlled him a little bit early. I don't know why I was just trusting in the second man press there. And I'll be honest, boys, this was not meant for that. That was just meant to go to the go to the left back. Why did it go all the way? He's going to look for Messi, isn't it? Vieira, don't let him turn. Don't let him turn. Straight onto him once again. Really quick to get into the player there. And he's just aggressive and he does come out of it. Look what Carl Walker just did there. I'm pretty sure the ball went through his body. And that's a clean tackle. What's happening in this game right now? So he's just going to run. Vieira's not going to allow that. Vieira is not going to allow that to happen. What a sly tackle. You know what, boys? Let's go for a finesse shot. Green timed. Okay. Honestly, 
His long shots are actually really nice. I'm surprised they have uh, flew in like that. I thought the long shot... Oh, yeah, no shot. I don't know what he's trying that. I thought the long shot was going to be decent, but I didn't think it was going to be, like, powerful. I thought it was going to be, like, a floater into the corner. It's just the two shots he has hit has flew in. He's looking for that turn. I'm not going to allow it to happen. Vieira, be aggressive. There you go. I'm telling you guys, it does not matter which side your opponent turns. It does not matter. If you are perfectly positioned, Vieira is going to get it either way. We'll roll this. I I'm going to pass it into the inside. Green timed outside foot. And it smacks the crossbar. Honestly, his long shots are actually really, really good. I was not expecting it to be this good. You don't expect it. He hasn't got the outside foot shot trait. He hasn't got like outrageous long shots. And they're actually near enough on target every time. Give it down line. I sent Vieira on a run. He hasn't marked it. Vieira, tight angle, green timed. Okay. Okay. The thing is, right, I'll say this right now. If that's not green timed, that's not going in. It's not going in, but because it's green timed, you can tell the accuracy was just spot on. And this guy, he's had enough. He's left the game. So my final thoughts on World Cup icon Vieira. I'm not sure how many games we ended up playing today, but I do know that we scored three goals. His shooting ability was something that really did impress me. I thought his shooting wasn't going to be anything amazing just by looking at the stats. You know, 81 shot power, 77 finishing, 83 long shots. When you look at that, you think to yourself, okay, there's going to be times that is going to go in but in most cases the keeper is going to come out with a save but that was not the case that was not the case his shot power felt more than 81 his long shots definitely was an 83 it felt like 86 long shots maybe even 87 long shots his shooting was way better than what i thought it was going to be and i'm definitely definitely happy with his shooting ability the pace on his card incredible fast to get out the players transition speed is insane times i was picking up the ball with him in that midfield as well and just sprinting past players for fun passing ability some of the best passes i have seen in fever 23 happened today Honestly, his passing is crazy. Some of the passes he was doing, you expect of like KDB. You expect of the top tier passes. Like Vieira's passing, you can tell. 88 vision, 88 short passing, 88 long passing as well. It's very good. But I just didn't really expect the passes he was doing today. Honestly, like it was crazy some of the passes he did. The dribbling ability, the R1 dribbling feels smooth, under control at all times as well. The left stick dribbling feels good, but there's times you can notice the 73 agility. There definitely is times. So yeah, just try to use the R1 dribbling as much as possible. Uh, defending wise, incredible. The reach he has is amazing. He's obviously got 99 interceptions, 99 standing tackling, 99 slide tackling as well. There was times I wasn't even controlling Vieira and he was getting the ball for me. That's how much of a joke he is on defense. And the aggression, he goes in so aggressive in the tackles, making sure he comes out with that ball. And that's what I love to see from my DM. The strength as well, amazing. And obviously the stamina was enough to last for the whole of the 90 minutes as well. Do I believe he is worth 40 World Cup swap tokens. Yes, I do, man. I think this card will last you maybe all the way to the end of the year or end of FIFA. Or it might just last you after the team of the season. I don't see them releasing much better DMs. I really don't. Like, or better DMs just in general. Vieira is a joke. There's no other way of putting this, boys. He is amazing. He's worth the tokens. 100% he is worth the tokens. He's worth the grind. He's worth the time to put into. He is amazing. It's crazy to know that you can get this card this early in the FIFA. Now, I do want to compare him to a few players. First player is Kessie. Once watch Kessie. You guys know how much, like, how much I love this Kessie card. He is incredible this year. There's a reason this card went into the S tier when I did the midfielders tier list. Next midfielders tier list, he'll go into the S tier as well. He's incredible. Do I believe he's better than Kessie? I do. In a DM and sentiment position. Uh, Yaya Torre. Actually, you know, let's talk about Marquisio first. Marquisio. Do I believe he's better than Marquisio first? Uh, first. Do I believe he's better than Marquisio in a DM position? I do. In a sentiment position, though. I'm taking Marquisio, but DM, Vieira's better. Do I believe he's better than Yaya Toure? Hmm. In a center mid position, no. In the DM position, as a holding DM, if you don't want your CDM to go forward at all, help you out going forward at all, Vieira's better because he is better on defense than Yaya. But if you want your DM to still go forward, you know, feel really, really nice on the ball. Obviously, have an amazing long shot ability as well. Yaya Torre is better. It just depends what you want your DM to do. As a holding DM, 
Vieira's better. As a DM that goes forward a little bit, Yaya will be better. Uh, Hullet. Do I believe he's better than Hullet in a DM position? This Hullet card is a joke. I'll say this, in a centre mid position, Hullet wins. 100% he does. But in a DM position, this Vieira card is better than Hullet on defense just straight up he is better than Hullet on defense so i'm taking vieira in a dm position over Hullet. but yeah it's really just yaya it depends if you're playing him as like a holding dm or like a dm that goes forward slightly it depends which one you go for vieira 100 goes into the s tier 100 he is an s tier card he's one of the best dms in this game if you're using him as a holding dm I would say he's the best DM in the game. Honestly, boys, he is the real deal. He's worth 40 tokens. 100% he is. But that is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.